these are brass knuckles also commonly known as the knuckle duster the knuckle duster is four rings usually made of metal connected together with a palm brace on the bottom these are deadly weapons they are illegal almost everywhere that's why I advise you to not walk around with one of these because they are good at what they do these are made only for damaging someone's body for breaking their bones and cutting up their skin making them bleed so please do not use these for those kind of purposes me I have this just as a collector's item a novelty I do not carry these outside for any reason and you shouldn't too um, this one is called the Hercules knuckle duster um, some I think one online retailer calls them the tough guy knuckles um, they're fairly good for a knuckle duster that is the uh, rings are oval shaped which gives you, which gives your fingers more breathing room and uh, pretty much lessens any kind of uh, pain that, that would come from punching something or striking something um, with classic knuckles because classic knuckles have smaller rings so you really have to put your fingers in and there's hardly any room these are large by the way and I have medium sized hands so these fit me pretty well rock solid grip it's all because of the palm brace gives you that rock solid grip keeps your mind off you know off any idea of getting your hand hurt because these metal rings pretty much protect your hand from any damage that could be caused by if you were to punch something with a naked hand um so yeah, they're chrome plated, stainless steel underneath, and uh, four to six ounces, not heavy at all. And uh, if you have noticed, there's uh, two holes right here. And that's just for comfort. You can see my pinky right here, it goes right inside. It's a perfect fit. Um, and these ones are rounded. These ones have rounded rings um, for more impact, less you know skin damage, more fracturing of the bones and whatnot. Um, so yeah, I hold them like this, not like this, because you know if I hold it like this, and the fleshy parts right in between my fingers. Uh, gets hurt and it just doesn't align properly if you want to punch you have to really uh, bend your wrist and I can't do that because I, I do martial arts so you know I have to have a straight uh, wrist when I'm punching and that's the thing you have to really know how to punch and how to use these before you use it on anything or anybody if that's what you want but I advise you not to do that once again um, you have to really get used to your weapon, you know, hit some things, you know, maybe the floor, or whatever, hopefully, if you live in an apartment, your, uh, neighbors won't shot at you, but, you know, it doesn't make that much noise, uh, from my experience, and you just hit it, you know, keep a straight wrist, and you'll get used to it, and that's how I got used to it, but the thing is, uh, the palm brace is metal, 
that's really that's the thing I hate because it digs into your palm and it's not rounded <laughs> see those edges yeah that digs into your palm as well so anytime you strike it just digs into your palm and really hurts you that's just the downside of brass knuckles you could always fix it up you could always add some fabric here and that's what I did um, not now I took it off but you know, we put foam here. You could do whatever. Just anything would be better. Like some more metal. Anything soft would do the job of lessening the uh, force or pressure. You know, yeah, force going into your palm. Um, so yeah, three ways to hold these. I think uh, kind of brass knuckles, or um, the way I hold them like this. You could also hold them like kind of like this for more angular shots, like to the ribs, or you could hold them like this and you know be able to do an arm face because this is not sharp. But if you hit someone on the on the head with this, they'd be bleeding like a like a cut pig. <laughs> I don't even know, but. Uh, yeah, it's just your style, you know? like that, and then you just fold that in. This goes right here. This goes down here, and boom, you got. It. So these are very good weapon, very good weapon. Uh, it does its job. Hopefully, uh, they legalize it. But you know, since all the thugs use these. That's not gonna happen for a long time. But, uh, yeah, like I said, they're illegal almost everywhere. Some places they're not illegal. I don't know where. Not sure. But, uh, yeah. You can get these at online retailers. And I'll put a link down below in the description box for a few um, stores that sell them. And, uh, yeah, pretty much, that's it. Uh, I'll be putting up a next video on innovations on the brass knuckles. You know, making additions to them. And, yeah, pretty much. Brass knuckles. Yeah.